Alright, this video we're going to look at combinations. Uh, I've got another video on permutations, you can check that out. Uh, and I'm going to, I'll have a video uh, on how to tell the difference between combinations and permutations. And uh, also how to calculate combinations and permutations by hand. Uh, in this video, when I calculate the combination permutation, I'm going to be using a calculator. I'm not going to show how to do it on the calculator. I'll talk you through it while I'm typing it in on mine. But most of the calculators, you do it different. So I don't try to show you how to do it on the calculator because everybody's got a different calculator, it seems like. But let's look at combinations. So the number of combinations of n elements taken r at a time where r is less than or equal to n, r is going to be always going to be less than or equal to this number, is it's n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay. So basically the difference between a combination and a permutation, and, I, and I'll have another video on this where I go into more detail about it, but basically for a permutation the order that you choose the items makes a difference. For a combination, the order that you choose the items does not make a difference. That's the difference in the combination and permutation. Okay? And check out the video on, on that where I explain it in more detail. Now, the way I wrote the combination here, you see this in some books, combination in choose R. Uh, I did it like this because the one note wasn't typing it very good the other way that you see it written and it's like this I've got a combination in things choose R and another way that you might see combination written is like this so this means combination in items and I'm choosing R of them so let's go ahead and get started we have two examples uh, they're different so you might want to check both of them and if you if you like the video and it's helpful give me a like share uh, hit the subscribe button that helps out uh, and I, I appreciate you watching all right so let's look at this for item four items that should be f o u r Okay, four items are to be randomly selected from the first 25 items on an assembly line in order to determine the defect rate. Okay, how many different samples of four items can be chosen? Okay, so four items are to be randomly, randomly selected from the first 25 items on an assembly line so we can determine if they're defective or not. Uh, how many different samples of four items can be chosen. Alright, so this is a combination and let me show you why. So let's let us let let us suppose you've got your assembly line here, it's on a belt or something, and you've got all these items on there. Okay, well, let's just let's just label them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Th these are your items and I know I didn't do 25 of them but we're going to select four of them and I'm going to check them to see if they're defective. So let's suppose I choose uh, A, uh, let's suppose I choose B and then C and then D and I check them to see if they're defective and then I put them back or throw them away. Okay, all right. Well, let's look at this. Let's suppose I chose B first, then A, then C, and then D. So B, A, C, D. I chose the same four items, but I chose them in a different order. And I'm going to check them to see if they're defective. Well, did that make a difference? No. It made no difference the order that I chose them, because all I'm doing is choosing them to see if they're defective or not. So the order made no difference. All right. So this is a combination. So it's combination, 25 items, and I'm choosing four of them. Now, if we plug this into the formula, you're going to get 25 factorial over 25 minus 4 factorial times 
4 factorial. And you can calculate that out by hand or whatever. But uh, And like I said, check out the video where I do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my calculator. I've got a TI-30X2S. Uh, so the way you do it, just type in 25, hit the PRB button, and you, you'll see on the screen NPR, C, NCR, and the factorial symbol. So just go over to where that line is under NCR and hit enter. And then it takes you back to the main screen. Type in 4 and then hit enter. And you get 12,650 different ways that you can do that. All right. So let's look at the next example. It says, from a group of 15 smokers and 21 non-smokers, a researcher wants to randomly select seven smokers and six non-smokers for a study. And how many ways can the study group be selected? All right, so this makes no difference the order that we choose. It's a combination. So let's, let, let's say of the 15 smokers, let's just, uh, let, let's say I'm choosing them. I've got person A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. Okay, and let's say I choose A, B, C. Okay, so I've got A, B, and C up here. All right, and so I'm going to send them into the room and do a study on them. Okay, well, what if I did this? What if I chose B, C, and then A? Well, I chose the same three. Well, I chose B, C, and A. I'm going to send them into a room, do a study on them. That made no difference, the order that I chose them. Send, choose an A, B, C or B, C, A and send them, in, send them in a, into a room to do a study. It makes no difference the order I chose them in. That's a combination. Okay? And the same thing would go for the non-smokers. Okay? So, all right, so what does it say? We want to randomly select seven smokers and six non-smokers. So that's going to be combination. I'm going to choose the smokers. So that's 15, and of the 15 smokers, I'm choosing seven of them. Okay. And I want to choose six non-smokers. So times combination there's 21 non-smokers and I'm choosing six of them and so well you just calculate each one of these separately and then multiply that number together uh, so 15 PRB I like the NCR type 7 hit equals and that is going to be 6,435 that's for the smokers and then the non-smokers well that's going to be 21 PRB highlight the NCR type 6 enter and that's times 54,264 and then I multiply these together and I get a big number 34918884 So over three or you know, over three hundred and forty nine million. Okay. So I hope the video helped. Check out the other videos on combinations, permutations. Check out and check out my other videos I have up. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a like, share, and subscribe.